I'm a princess journalist. A bad. <laughs> okay, so I'm here with the overall winner, Innie. What a brilliant night. You came here with two awards and you're going home with three. How does it feel? Very, very um, surprising. I'm shocked. Um, I am super, super grateful, to be honest. I am super grateful. I couldn't have done this um, without my team, obviously. This is not just um, a win for me. It's a win for us because it's all about teamwork. And without the team, it is absolutely impossible. And can you tell me a little bit about the organization, when it started, what motivated you to start it? Um, Love and Care for People started in 2001, um, because at the time um, there weren't services for young migrant women um, with young kids. Mm -hmm. So we started up as a group of, it was an informal group of um, women who just came together and I suppose um, over the years it kind of grew because like the kids were growing, we were also integrating more into society and we also wanted to give back. So we um, formally um, registered Love and Care for People as an organization in um, 2014 okay. and a um, few years after that we got the charitable status. Um, we just, you know, cemented the whole thing and here we are today. Um, Love and Care for People actually now provides services to um, migrants. Um, we do lots of different, um, lots of different work, um, providing information, you know, to support victims of domestic violence is a big deal in our community and also a taboo topic, you know, people don't want to talk about it. So. Um, it's all about, I suppose, providing information and letting um, women especially know that there is support and they don't have to go through it on their own. Um, we and that's the most important thing, isn't it? Of course. The, the feeling of that you're not on your own. Oh, definitely. It can be a very, very lonely journey because the thing is you don't want your story to be the story of the community, hence... You know, you bottle things up inside and you suffer on your own, which affects, you know, not just your mental health, but your overall health and well-being. And it's just for people, like for women especially, to know that there is support and it's non-judgmental. So no one is telling you it's your fault or whose fault is it. We are just there to provide a listening ear support and direct people to services that can actually take care of 21 them. years later yes. if i'd have told you back in 2001 that in 2022 this organization that you're the founding member of would be so big and so popular and so much needed would you believe me i would have believed you by faith because i'm a very positive person and i believe in humble beginning you know, I believe in allowing things to blossom on their own. But truth be told, I would have never thought Love and Care for People would be the organization that it has turned out to be today. And I hope that, you know, we can touch many more lives. What gives me so much joy are the young people. You've seen some of them here this evening. And the transformation blows my mind away. And, you know, when I see that, when the team sees that, it gives us hope we know that we are actually making a difference. We are actually doing something because there are some of them who are now in colleges, some of them who are working, you know, some women who have um, gained employment because of the career fair, you know, and people have started their own businesses. So, you know, all of that is beautiful to see that, you know, there is hope, you know, and... And you're um, creating role models. They're the role models for, yes. the, for the future generations that are coming. And I, I hope that, you know, they, they, they shine, yeah. you know, because that, that is what I would love to see them blossom, you know, just like I have, because I also have a story and um, here I am today, you know, so there is hope. There and is you know hope. what's beautiful about tonight? There's a couple of things. Firstly, I loved how every time you won an award, because it's like Lady Gaga winning awards here at the MTV Awards. You were getting awards left, right, and you did. You credited everybody within the community, and also you're going away with two trophies and some new bling. <laughs> I'm very grateful for that. This is a very, very big surprise. Uh, this is my personal win, you know. But the awards definitely is for all of us. Like I said, it's the team 
that makes it work. And it's the team that makes it enjoyable, should be told. Because, you know, on your own, you can burn out. You know, but when you hear the encouragement from the team, really, we can do it. And they come up with ideas. Then young people, they are filled with ideas. And I love to see their ideas come to life. And I think for them, it's important, you know, that they can see their own ideas coming to life. Because for a lot of the programs we organize with the young people, it's from them. It is not from us. They come up with different things. We want to do that. We want to do this. And I suppose what we do is just to create the platform because they are so young and we have the platform. So we give them the platform and they take charge. And that makes me feel proud, you know, to see them making a difference in their own lives because they know that when they put their mind to anything, they can achieve anything. And that is a win. And you know what? It's all down to you too. Congratulations. Thank you very and much. And here's to another 22 years. Thank, Thank you, you so very much. much. Thank you.